Good morning. Right, I might be a bit shaky because we're leaving South Lafore this morning on this awful bumpy road. Um, I've showed you a bit of it on my last video as we came in. Now, thankfully, even though the Ningaloo Road is supposedly closed, the camp host holders just go down it. Everybody's using it and it's much better than this whatever. But what's this one called? Barber... Oh, I can't really Cardo remember. Cardi Brew Pine. Yard. I don't know, road, but it, oh, it's absolutely horrible. And it's about to get worse. Um, so we can't, the way we were going to go was up the Yardy Creek. Um, but we can't because it's closed for military operations. So we've got to get back out onto the main road and drive up, which is OK, because it actually takes us to the canyons we wanted to go and have a look at as well. So we'll be going on this horrible road again. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and um, oh yeah, we lost another two water bottles yesterday because they broke in the corrugations. Gosh, we're going to have to buy a lot more of this water. Um, but we had a bit of a jig around to try and move them somewhere a bit safer. So we're going to get down here, get onto the main road, and, and then we'll see you at the canyons. But, uh, oh God, this is what we've got to contend with. This bit isn't too bad, but I'm going to come back to you with the really, really bad bit that we're going to come up to in a minute. Whoa, cap. Don't drop the camera. I'm having to sit on my phone so I don't lose them. But look at the scenery. Look at all these termite mounds. And the other side, well, I don't know if you can see very well, <coughs> is all the, the sand dunes. Ooh, sorry, I know I'm shaking. It certainly makes a change from the bitch when it goes on and on and on. And the bitch is actually really tiring to drive because all you can see is roads just going on and on and on. Um, I was talking to a guy at the campsite in um, Carvanon. Um, he was from the UK. Oh, crumbs, everything's fallen down. Uh, he was from the UK and moved here about 30 years ago and he said the same, is it's just watching that horizon all the time makes you tired. Anyway, we're managing. We're doing quite well, I think, aren't we, Blue, considering, yeah, <laughs> considering we're not Aussies. We're not what, eh? <laughs> We're not Aussies. We... Aus Australian. Oh, right, yeah. Plus, <laughs> we sort of like sharing the driving makes it a lot easier now. Yeah, it does. <coughs> See that, Al? It's definitely more fun, eh? Oh yeah, it's more fun on the four-wheel drive. It's just a bit painful on the really little bits. Letting the air out of the tyres and popping them back up. Oh. Like. Yeah, we have to keep letting the air in and out. And it is a pain in the neck. They've given us a really weird um, air pressure thing to... It's all right taking it down, but putting them up, we've got to lift the bonnet, attach it to the battery, and do it. I mean, the one I have at home, I just put the cigarette lighter. <laughs> I, just, I don't know, maybe they do it different in Australia, but, uh, oh look, this is pretty.
about the bits of rocks sticking out the sides? I was like, oh God, I don't want my tire to go over that and slice open. And you, you just stick out all of a sudden. A drink of water because he's just gonna. <laughs> yeah, we're on the Ningaloo Road now. Now it's officially closed on the park's website, and uh, that guy yesterday told us it was closed. But the park people at the campsite of South Lafroy told us. Uh, the camp host told us just go down this road, ignore the closed sides, because <coughs> it'd be better than the other road. And it is better, but bloody neck, and I've got a lot of bumps on it. Look, look at the waves in the road. Up and down. It's easier on the tyres, eh? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yes, it is easier on the tyres, and actually, it's much more comfortable going up and down than do 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 do. So this one isn't too bad. <laughs> you say that. Like that. And then we it's when those bumps are so close together. Oh, what's this one? Oh, like this one. <laughs> oh, so, it's definitely smooth. So this, they closed it because um, it had sand drifts on it. And I think you can kind of see that on the other side. Well, we're going to follow what she said. This is going to cut an hour and a half, we reckon, off our journey. Yeah, something uh, between an hour and an hour and a half. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, that gives us time to go and see the canyon instead of going straight to the meds. Yeah. We would really like to go see the canyon. Well, I want to see the crate, but we can't get. Well, we can the Well, we can if we drive. Well, we'll have to see what the time is, won't yeah. we, where we've got time to get down to Yardy Creek, because, of course, we've we would have been right near it if we'd have just gone up Yardy Creek Road along the camp, but we can't do that, so, because of the war game. So, if we've got time, we will go just drive down there. Um, but it is very beautiful in this area. I mean, we, we absolutely love South Lafroy Beach and we should we'd have had a bit longer there. Um, I don't recommend snorkeling, though, without your fins. Probably <laughs> that, that kind Fishing of... Fishing was hard work as well. <laughs> Just the current is so strong there. But I did see some little fishies. Anyway, let's keep going. Look, let's just see it goes on and on and on. <laughs> right. Putting Zoe to work. Get those tyres pumped up, Zoe. Well, I'm getting eaten by flies. We've arrived at Charles Knife Canyon and we're just driving down now to see what there is to do. So apparently we drive about 12 kilometres and it takes us up the canyon to the lookout. Um, oh yes, look, you can see the road going up. Oh wow, Blue, that's beautiful. Huge. <gasps> I 
Okay, I'm I don't know if you can see on blue side. <laughs> Show you that on the way back down, but I think at the top we can see over everything. That... Oh, oh, look down there! Oh, my goodness! Oh, this is pretty. It's pretty, but where's the big bit? Where's the sea? Yeah, I can see the sea over there. I think. We might have to stop at those other lookouts on the way down. Hmm. But we're just going to sit here for a minute and have a picnic. What? An ant? No, that beetle. Oh god, yeah, there was a red fried beetle in the van last night. I had to get rid of for him. Alright, we're we'll going to have a look at some of the other viewing points as well. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that look out at the top was a little bit disappointing considering what we'd seen before. So we're just going to stop at some of the other lookouts. Now, this is. This is more like it, isn't it? And look, over there, there's like holes in the rock. Like little caves. Oh, right over there, it's like a nature's window. I think we're gonna get there. So look at this one, deep in the canyon. But it's very beautiful. So that was Charles and Knife Canyon, and now we've just come up the road to. I want to say because he keeps calling it Shotgun. Shotgun. He's going, Shot Hole Canyon. Um, so I'll give you, oh god, it's a bumpy road here. Four by four only, no caravans. And we're driving through the canyon, so I'll show you some shots of that.
So that canyon, driving through, it was pretty stunning, wasn't it? So we just got to the car park, for like the lookout, and we're going to um, see if we can get up the steps. It's only 100 metres, but they do say they're very steep and slippy. So we'll see how we do. And I'll take you with us and we'll have a view at the top. Much the same up there, to be honest, not much elevation. Can't you see more of it? <coughs> okay, this is Exmouth that we've just driven into. So we just pulled into Exmouth, we're just going to get some fuel, and then we're about 40 minutes from Ned's campground. So, that <laughs> You say, what? Every time I go to the garage, I have to get my bloody f food from the thing. No, you do, <laughs> but you speak up a hobby. I got you donuts. Don't tell people we had donuts. <laughs> <laughs> he did when we were at Quabba Blowholes. He was getting himself a cappuccino. We got some cinnamon donuts. Oh, they were nice, nice and warm. Thank Look you. at that shrimp. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's shrimp. Prawn. Oh, it's prawn. prawn American. Well, we've been through Exmouth and went to find the marina and there isn't really a lot in Exmouth unless you're going well watching. Um, or, or you're rich and you're oh retired. Oh my gosh, some of the houses around the marina. We'll give you a show tomorrow. They're just absolutely massive. I don't know how much they'll cost. Millions, we reckon. Um, and then there's some other houses, but then there didn't seem to be a lot there, did they, other than well watching tours. Uh, um, anyway, now we're heading off to, we're in the Cape Range Park again and we're off to find Ned's campground. Um, Alright, we have, we're coming down the Yardy Creek Road, the ranges that we went across earlier, the canyons, there's the other side of them, and we're just now going to turn into Ned's camp. Right. We're just going to go into four wheel drive. I think we're going to see if we can get away. We're not messing with the tyres. Oh, it takes forever. Oh, here we go. This side of the road was much easier than what we did this morning, I can say. Quite comfortable, straight bitumen all the way, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, much better than that. So, we are in the Cape Range National Park tonight. And oh, spoke a bit too soon. Very bush like. Turn right, then arrive at your destination. Turn right, huh? Yeah, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Look, Ned's camp. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. That's the picnic area. Right. Where, Where the heck do we go? Oh, trail. <gasps> Ooh. There we go. Arrive at Ned's campground. Okay. Arrived. Okay. Now no through road. Campers huh? only. There you go. Right. right, what's the rules say? Uh, camping fees are payable. Well, we've done all that. Uh, already booked. Pre well, what he well, must be present. Please proceed to your selected site. Right. You need to get, <sighs> get the thing out. I've got to get out the car now and find what site number we're on. So we're all set up in our camp spot. And now I'm going to go for a walk up here and look at the beach. It's just... A little walk. Oh, it's a nice breeze. I tell you, it's blooming out here. It was 30 degrees when we were in Exmouth. And it's down to about 26 now. It's very warm. Gosh, it's such a difference from when we were in Perth in the rain. <laughs> Look at this. So I'm not sure if you 
saw the beach as we were coming in. You can see it's not very far. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Beautiful day. I love how friendly all the Australians are. I've had conversations with so many people already. Uh, Norwester, in the camp kitchen, I was talking with a couple who had moved here 30, 30 years ago from the UK. Gave me lots of tips on camping and driving, which was really good. Oh, look, what can we see? So this is the Ningaloo Marine Park still, so we were right down here in Lafroy, South Lafroy. Couldn't get up this road because of the army thing, so we have to go all the way around. Um, that's where we went to Charles Knife Canyon, shot Hole Canyon Road, came up through Exmouth, round, and where are we? All right, here, here. Yeah. Oh, so nice to see another turtle. Oh. Gosh, it's like four o'clock, I think. I have no idea what the time is. I forget what day it is. I think it's... I want to say Saturday, but I don't think it is. I think it might be Sunday. I just don't know. But yes, I was saying, yeah, so I've met those. I had a chat in the garage today with another uh, local. And it's just nice that people just stop and have a chat. Um, I wouldn't have known or seen all those whales if that couple at Quabba Blowholes hadn't like stopped for a chat and pointed them all out to me. Oh God, I mean, like I saw sort of loads. Need to have a shower. Like, showering is a bit of a challenge. It's all right when you're on a camp site and they've got showers, but when we're on remote ones like this, there is a tent at the back with a cold shower. So I do, I've got a bucket. I brought my portable shower from home. Charge that up. Bit of bucket with kettle water and cold water, and I shower using that. I it's quite warm, cold shower probably wouldn't hurt. But the thing is, as soon as that sun goes down, it's cold. I had my coat on yesterday on that beach because it was really cold. I'm out of breath because it's hard walking on this soft sand, and it's been a long day. I lost a driving, so I'm gonna snorkel. A shower, get my stuff ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow we will be going swimming with humpback whales. And that's why we went to find where we've got to meet on the marina so we can judge what time we need to leave in the morning. I don't want to be late. And that will be super exciting. Uh, the only concern we have is I picked this particular company because it had smaller groups and also because it had equipment if you weren't a strong swimmer so like noodles life jackets and I'm taking my life jacket anyway oh, I'll be flipping I'm sand all in these things can't walk them um, but then they sent me an email saying you've got to be medium to strong well the thing is I'm not a bad swimmer but obviously when you've got to fight a current that's something else, isn't it? Anyway, I'll be wearing my life jacket, no matter what they say. Then, ooh, no drones here. Not that I'm having much luck with my drone anyway. It's always too windy. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Then we're deciding whether we're gonna come back here to this campsite or one that we found uh, by Coral Bay because the day after, we're going to Karajini National Park, and it's about a six hour drive. 
and then you think it's six hours and then it's always a lot longer so if you come here it's six hours but if we go down to Coral Bay we'll knock an hour off anyway that's we haven't really decided yet but then we yeah we'll be driving into Karajini for a couple of nights which, um, I'm really excited about that because if you watch my Kabari video wasn't it beautiful well Karajini is supposed to be even better so hmm lots to do lots to plan how we fit so much in already I'm exhausted I've fallen asleep at 8 o'clock <laughs> but that's okay oh and that will be goodbye for today and uh, I'll catch up with you when we go looking for humpback whales ciao